welcome to Health Q&A Monday. My name is Jill Stannard, I'm an experienced naturopath and health and happiness coach and I'm here to answer your questions. Today's email comes from Catherine and she writes, I've recently developed psoriasis on my elbows and knees. Are there any herbal creams that can help them go away? Thank you for your question Catherine. And you are not alone, there are a lot of people who have psoriasis and other annoying skin conditions. And first off, there are herbal creams that can work with a lot of skin conditions. For example, for general healing, creams based with uh, the plant's calendula or aloe vera, or for itchy skin, chickweed makes a great cream or ointment. However, for systemic skin conditions like psoriasis. The treatment actually comes from within. So while putting a topical treatment, something on your skin may help it feel a little bit better, it might alleviate some discomfort. Until you work with your diet and your lifestyle, the psoriasis is going to keep coming back. So first thing about psoriasis, it's an autoimmune condition. So your body is fighting itself. And like all skin conditions, how you look after yourself emotionally, how you're working with your stress is incredibly important because it's both a trigger, trigger for autoimmune conditions and also skin conditions. Now that's partially because we are really primitive creatures. And our body reacts to stress as if we are going to die. So being stuck in traffic, having a deadline at school or at work is going to trigger the same physiological response as it does if you saw a tiger on the savanna. And part of that response is the body reroutes energy and blood priorities. So we get a bit more nerve and uh, blood flow to our heart, lungs, muscle, muscles and brain but it has to take it away from somewhere. It takes it away from the gut, the reproductive system and skin. In fact your body is not going to do anything about the psoriasis until pretty much everything else is working as best as it can possibly can in your body. So I mentioned you know skin here but and also the bowel and the bowel plays a really important role with your skin. Um, in fact, if any of your limitative organs are not doing what they need to do to get rid of the rubbish, the body parks it in the skin. It's the safest place to put it. So having a diet that supports good bowel function is really important. Having uh, enough positive fluid, preferably in the form of good quality water. Having uh, enough movement to get your lymphatic system moving around your body really well. And being able to breathe slowly and deeply unhindered by smoke and, and other pollutants is incredibly important. Psoriasis, you know, also is known to be triggered by smoking and unfortunately alcohol, caffeine for some people, and other inflammatory foods like meat and dairy. And I'm going to put up a link to give you some advice for an anti-inflammatory diet to get you on your way. So it's a multi-pronged attack. It's reducing your stress, and I'll have um, some links for reducing your stress as well. Having an anti-inflammatory diet getting rid of the habits or minimizing any habits which are clogging up your other limitative systems and getting good sleep and good rest and taking good care of yourself. Of course, if your skin is triggered by any other topical things such as um, certain detergents, washing powders, those sorts of things, then keep an eye out for those and change them. For psoriasis in particular, there's also a few other special things that you need to look at. Vitamin D levels. Now, most Australians are vitamin D deficient. One, because we use sunblock and cover up in the sun to avoid skin cancer. And two, because most of us work in places where we're not getting enough daylight exposure anyway. So most Aussies, as I said, are low in vitamin D and vitamin D plays a really vital role in psoriasis. 
and sunshine itself. So it's not just taking a vitamin D supplement, but it's actually getting some UV exposure. Uh, so exposing your elbows and your knees, in your case, to the sun. Uh, in fact, one of the oldest treatments for um, psoriasis is UV exposure. Uh, they used to send people off to um, special departments in the hospital that well, you could have exposure to a UV lamp. I wouldn't really suggest that you go to a tanning clinic. I would just suggest you get, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of sun exposure a day on those affected parts, plus take your vitamin D. So... Catherine, I know this wasn't the easy answer that you wanted, but I have certainly seen in clinical practice with the use of appropriate herbs internally to help all those body systems that we need to sort out before your body prioritizes clearing your skin, and that's why skin conditions take so long to treat. Uh, and seen fa yeah, fantastic results, but they may take a year and they will probably take a bit of guidance from a naturopath. But start with the links that I've shared today. I hope that helps. And if you have a question for Health Q&A Monday, you can email me, coaching at jillstannard.com.au. You can tweet me at Herbal Jill, and you can check out the website, jillstannard.com.au. You can sign up for the newsletter when you're there, check out the recipes, other vodcasts, and over a thousand really interesting articles. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.